Hoka. Woo, what's shaking? Nothing is shaking. Just feel a bit grumpy. That's all. Aw, don't be a sad Sally. Come on, get in. Come on, come on, we're gonna be late for the show, let's go. Oh my God. Okay, you don't have to be so bossy. Ooh, somebody woke up on the wrong side of John today. I wish. That would mean we were actually touching. But he doesn't really like touch me anymore. What? No way, how is that possible? He's like so into you and loyal, like a Labrador, like an only child Labrador. No, plus I saw him give you a hug in front of the house That the wasn't day. a hug, Tyler. He was grabbing the keys from my jacket because I was carrying two bags of groceries. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Ever since he's been working from home, I just never see him. Unless it's to deal with the cat or pay the bills. It's all very transactional, dry, impersonal. Well, at least he's petting some kind of pussy. Ow, uh, that hurt, Mama. <laughs> Look, John is like the most vanilla Catholic schoolboy ever. He probably just needs some male alone time. Wow, Tyler, thank you. No, that makes me feel a lot better. Oh, no, honey. No, I didn't mean it that way. They came out wrong. Look, it's, it's just something men do, like, a lot. And you know what they say, self-love is, oh, the best love. <laughs> No, seriously, he's probably just working too much. I mean, you guys are trying to have a baby. Yeah, I get it. But how the hell are we supposed to have a baby if he won't even touch me or get near me? I don't know, maybe... Maybe he's got, like, an online girlfriend? Or a boyfriend. <laughs> oh. Tyler, no, C can you roll them up, please? You're gonna ruin my hair. Oh, yes, yes, sorry, sorry, sorry. Global pandemic, PTSD. I'm sorry, babe. Come on. Oh, we gotta go or else we leave the show. Right. I'm looking forward to seeing Elton John. Good. What? Sally, um, we're going to see Felt Up Juan, the new drag queen on the strip. Uh, of course we are. Fantastic. I got dressed up to watch a freaking drag parody of Elton John. Um, he is like the best Latin drag homeless functional act west of Skid Row. No, my okay. life is Skid Row. I am stuck here in a parking lot wearing a hooker dress to a bar full of bra wearing men who will never like me because my tits are real. I have an idea. I'm scared. Oh, come on. No, I'm being serious. John thinks you're going to be gone for the next three hours, right? Yeah, and? What if, what if we find out what he's doing in that room? What? How? The home alarm makes a large chiming noise whenever the front door opens. He'll know when I'm home. Not if we peek through the window. I mean, come on, we have to figure out this mystery, right? I guess. Yeah, and that way we can catch him in the act. You'll see that he's not on some porn site or chatting up another woman or a woman. He locks himself in the second floor in the spare room, so it'll never work. Well, I'm six foot, and with those heels on, you're like what? Five one? Five four, barefoot, but thanks. Okay, good, even better. So you're probably like around five seven in them heels. Girl, I'm no genius at math, but you put six feet and five foot seven together, and that makes? Exactly the height of the second floor window. Mm-hmm. So you're saying we turn around, sneak up the house, I jump on your shoulders with my heels on, and we peer through the window? Girlfriend. I think we got ourselves a killer plan. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Uh, Tyler. Hello, gentlemen. Who's ready for a new class today? It is so lovely and sunny here in SoCal. All right, gentlemen. Grab those needles and grab them hard. Oh, it was so loud. Sorry. Okay, are you sure about this? Yes. Okay, I feel so stupid. What if a neighbor sees us or what if he, I don't know, things are breaking in and shoots me? You're a suburban Democrat, you don't have guns. We could. You don't. Okay, we don't. Yes. Okay, we're gonna start off with making a slipknot. Does everyone remember how to do one of those? Stop worrying. 
Here's the plan. We approach the back of the house. I prop you up. You peer in. That's it. Are you sure? I am sure. Come on, let's go. Okay, okay. Right here, right here. Jump up right here, okay? You got this, girl. You can do it, okay? Go. Wait, 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 wait. I see a ladder. Let's be smart, ninjas. Okay. We're gonna take two fingers like this, and we're gonna wrap the ends of the yarn around it one and a half times. Like this. And then you're going to push the yarn through the back and pull it through to make a loop. Like this. Then go and take that needle of yours. Put it through the hole and give everything a gentle little tug. I am a warrior and a homemaker. Girl. Shh. All right, guys. Now, you know what to do. In the I'm comment a box, tell me what you're making. Today. And a homemaker. Is anybody there? Who's there? <laughs> I'm sure you're doing a fantastic job, gentlemen. And your wives and girlfriends are gonna love what you're making. Trust me. Okay, let's no see what there. else we have here. Hmm. No one's there, silly John. <laughs> oh my God! Go, go, go. We got nothing for you here. Hey, get out of here. Okay, just, just, just get out. Okay? Oh my God, Sally? Tyler? What are you guys doing? I thought you guys were supposed to be at the show. Go away, or I'll call the police. Oh, shut your trap, lady! Oh my God, Sally, you're 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 bleeding. Yeah, I am oh bleeding. Oh my God, are you okay? I don't know if I'm okay. You, you stabbed me. Well, you I scared think, me. I know you stabbed me. What's the matter with you guys? You're climbing up the house? No, I didn't. Oh God, this is all my fault. It sure is. You know, I can't believe I fell for it. Okay, Sally, this morning you left for work as my normal sweet wife, and now I'm dressing your wound as a would-be burglar. Explain you two, why were you climbing the roof? Oh God, this is so awky. Okay, I'll go first. Uh, so I went and picked up Sally from work today. Well, actually I picked up Sad Sally. I call her Sad Sally because she was unhappy. Okay, got it. Oh, okay, yeah. So well, so then she started sharing. You know, Sally loves to share. She's an oversharer. <laughs> sharing is caring. <laughs> okay, Tyler, please. Oh. Okay, ever since you've been working from home, you've been cold and distant and locked up in this room. So Tyler, I, thought that you were having a secret online love affair. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. No, I heard a female's voice. Well, that's just Jennifer. See, I knew it. You were so right, Tyler. I was right, I knew it. You yeah. dirty little Th That's Jennifer from Male Knit World. What? It's, it's an online channel. Look, this whole thing was supposed to be a surprise but I've been taking knitting lessons online from a woman named Jennifer who teaches men to knit. Pookie bear. Pookie bear, gross. Shut it. Come here, my little hot buns bunny. Oh my God, I think I'm gonna puke. <laughs> so, um, just so I get this straight, you have not been having sex with your wife because you've been crocheting. Knitting. What? Knitting, not crocheting. I, mean, I think you of all people would know the difference. Oh, nice with the gay stereotypes, John. Tyler does have a point. Do you, do you remember when we first met and you said that you wanted our child to have a stay-at-home dad because of something you read at Vanity Fair that said it was better for the child's development in the first five years? No, I actually don't remember that. What, are you gonna breastfeed him too? No. Sally will take care of that. I mean, our plan is, is that we're both gonna stay home for the child's first five years. I've been working overtime, and I've been investing every penny into stocks, which, by the way, have been doing really well. 
and I calculated that pretty much the biggest expense for the first five years is going to be the child's clothes and diapers. So I decided to surprise you with enough clothes and diapers to last for the child's first five years. My precious John. <laughs> well, look at you. Just a regular Martha Stewart. <laughs> but if I may ask, how do you plan on having this baby if you and Sad Sally don't make the beast of the two bags? Huh? Sex, John! Why are you two not smashing? Well, I've been working in here 20 hours a day. They get the room and the clothes ready. But I was planning a little trip to Cancun so that Sally and I could conceive. If you must know, Tyler. Well, I'm glad Sally will soon be satisfied Sally <laughs> instead of sad Sally. <laughs> Me too. Hey, I love you, baby. I love you. And I love you both oh. night knitting celibate being bitches. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't we go downstairs and have a beer? Okay. Yeah. I'm thirsty. <laughs> Oh, I uh, must have forgotten to shut her off. Uh, I'll meet you guys down there. Okay. Los Angeles. He says he's surprising his wife with baby clothes and cloth diapers. Wow, what a prepper. Good on you, John. Good on you.